Hey, while we have not been driving as much these days, it's still important to take care of your car. Mazavol has some tips on how to keep your car going. Shahe, a lot of people's cars have been sitting and they're looking going, okay, I gotta get it moving. What you're saying you need to do right now, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's crucial when a car sits uh, for a long period of time, especially like five or more days, there are several things that you need to do to make sure that you're on top of it because eventually you're going to have to drive the car, whether it's an emergency or uh, go to the doctor's appointment or even we get back to normal again. Uh, the one thing that you can do is make sure that you keep the engine running. Uh, it's a good habit to get into by making sure that you run, start the vehicle and let it run for at least five minutes twice a week. What you're doing there is keeping all the lubrication going in the engine uh, and also keeping the battery alive because if the battery is not being uh, run or charged by the alternator, eventually it's gonna die. Uh, so that's the one thing. And then if you can go around the block, that's even better. But if you really don't want to leave the driveway, that's fine. At least run it for five minutes uh, twice a week. Okay, right now I have and my then, check uh, engine light on, um, uh -huh. and that's probably because I need oil, uh, oil change. But the oil change places aren't open right now. I mean, what's some things I can do to, to still keep the car running smoothly? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's, there's several things that you can do. One is uh, obviously don't panic. Uh, if the vehicle is not being driven, but you want to make sure that uh, you're on top of it, check the oil level. I mean, the owner's manual is there. It'll tell you everything. I mean, my goodness, nowadays with Google and YouTube, they have all kinds of variations of how to do, but you can go to your owner's manual. It'll tell you where it's located. Pull the dipstick. Make sure that the oil level is full. Uh, and uh, if it's not, then add. Uh, and obviously, if you need to add and you don't have oil, that makes you need to go to the to the actual parts store. So if you are due for an oil change or service and you can't go, it's okay. It's all right to go a little bit over, whether it's uh, a month or two months. Because obviously, if you're not driving, we're not worried about mileage. We're worried about months. And the average conventional engine oil change is three months, 3,000. Synthetic is a lot longer. So depending on which kind of oil that you use, it's okay. It's no big deal. You can wait. Uh, until you know this is all over with that you can take it to the service station. So I like what you are doing for seniors right now because they do need their cars to get to their doctor's appointments to just in case they have emergencies. Talk about what you're doing for them. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, aside from just seniors, there's a lot of people that are just, you can't blame them. They're, they're afraid and they don't want to compromise themselves and their family, uh, but uh, predominantly seniors. We are picking up the vehicle for them uh, they basically leave the uh, the keys uh, in the uh, the vehicle. We show up. There's a note. We grab it. We bring it to the shop. We always disinfect before we work on it, like steering wheel, shifter column, seats. And then we work on the vehicle, disinfect the key, get it all done, call them that we're coming back. We deliver it back to, the, to them in a driveway, put the key back in an envelope underneath the driver's floor mat, and just go away. That way they can be comfortable knowing they can go out and grab their, retrieve their key and the car is done and, and ready to go. I like it. All right, when we get to uh, back to opening up things, I definitely want to bring my car in. I want to have you back in, talk to us. Sure. Getting ready for summertime. So we'll probably have you back on because we got to get the cars ready for driving around oh, in this yeah. heat. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you want to make sure a couple of things, too, aside from the uh, running the engine, you want to make sure that all the, the, the actual fluids, like the coolant, the brake, and again, the owner's manual will tell you where everything is located. It'll tell you what kind of fluid it takes. Uh, and then lastly, make sure that if it's dusty, I know you're going to say, ah, oh, you know what, when this is all over, I'm going to give this baby a real nice cleaning. That dust with rain uh, and bird uh, droppings is really bad for the paint. So try and at least hand wash it. Put the radio on in your driveway. Have some fun with the family and the kids. Wa hand wash the car at least once every two weeks so. because you want to make sure that that dust doesn't settle on top of that paint because if it ruins the clear coat when this is all over you're going to see different variation patches and go wow why is my color discolored on the hood and on the on the trunk or on the roof of the car is because you let it go too long and that's not good either there you go i know a lot of people are actually using car washing as the uh, school curriculum for yeah. uh, outside activity sure, sure. <laughs> for the kids <laughs> that's right how, it's can a people, great... how can people get a hold of you uh, basically, you can get a hold of me by calling 602-248-8711, and myself or my wife, Lena, will be able to answer. And you can also send us an email to info at mosvo.com and visit our website, www.mosvo.com. Oh, perfect. 
Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.